Hello everyone, my name is Ye Nan Chen. I'm a postdoc from Princeton University. It's my pleasure to share our research on the soft charging mechanism of merged two-stage switch capacitor converters. The efficiency and power density of a switch capacitor converter are usually limited by the charge sharing loss. Charge sharing loss comes from the voltage difference between two parallel capacitors, as CS and CO. The voltage difference is directly applied on the parasitic resistance, and the on resistance of switches results in higher current spike and higher conduction loss. Increasing the capacitance and the switching frequency can reduce the charge sharing loss, but also makes the converter bigger and introduce higher switching loss. The charge sharing loss can be reduced by soft charging. Soft charging requires inductors as current source to reduce the current spike. With the inductor, capacitors are never directly connected in parallel. All the capacitors are charged and discharged by the current source. The resonant operation also reduces the LC size and creates soft switching opportunities. This is a single-stage resonant charge pump with one inductor. This is a two-stage cascaded resonant switch capacitor converter. It needs two resonant inductors. And this is a 4 to 1 switch tank converter with two resonant inductors. Soft charging switch capacitor converters with multiple stages usually need multiple inductors. Another approach for soft charging in two-stage switch capacitor converter is a merged two-stage soft charging architecture. In a merged two-stage architecture, there is a switch capacitor stage behaves as a voltage source, and a switch inductor stage behaves as a current source. The voltage source stage is softly charged and discharged by the current source stage. Usually only the current source stage has inductors, and there is no decoupling capacitors between two stages so the power density can be higher. Two stages normally operate at different frequencies. There are two types of soft charging mechanisms. With resonant soft charging, the capacitor current is sinusoidal wave. With PWM soft charging, the capacitor current is square pulse wave. This is an example of merged two-stage hybrid switch capacitor converter with resonant soft charging. The first stage is a 2 to 1 switched capacitor stage. The second stage is an interleaved 2 to 1 resonant charge pump as the current source. The overall voltage conversion ratio is 4 to 1. There are no decoupling capacitors between two stages. The capacitors in the first stage and the second stage and the resonant inductor form a LC resonant tank. In each operation stage, all the capacitors are charged and discharged by sinusoidal resonant current. The merged two-stage hybrid switch capacitor converter with PWM soft charging has a similar structure. The current source is performed by an interleaved two-phase buck converter. The output voltage can be regulated by the buck stage. Also, no decoupling capacitors between two stages. The buck inductor is large, and the current waveform is square pulse wave. All the capacitors are charged and discharged by the PWM current. One major difference between resonant soft charging and the PWM soft charging is the RMS current. Without the decoupling capacitors, the RMS current of the voltage source is determined by the current source stage. The resonant soft charging current is always sinusoidal current. The PWM soft charging current is affected by the duty ratio and the phase number. With small duty ratio, the peak current is high and the RMS current is also high. With small bulk phases, the pulse number will increase and the amplitude of each pulse is lower. We compare the RMS current of resonant and the PWM soft charging. This is the boundary when the RMS currents are equal. For M phase buck converter, higher phase number and higher duty ratio result in lower RMS current. 
the conduction loss is also lower. A switched capacitor converter can be modeled as a transformer-based circuit with its output impedance. First, we can look at this purple curve. This is the output impedance of a hot charging switch capacitor converter with large capacitors but without the resonant inductors. The loss at low frequency is dominated by the charge sharing loss. The output impedance is higher with lower frequency. The curve at low frequency shows the slow switching limit of the output impedance. The charge sharing loss at higher frequency is low and the output impedance is majorly determined by the conduction loss. So the impedance curve does not drop at high frequency, which shows the fast switching limit. The red curve is the output impedance of soft charging with the same large capacitors. It's much lower because the charge sharing loss is greatly reduced. Even with smaller capacitors, the output impedance is still lower than the, the hard charging. For resonant soft charging, the best operation frequency is equal to or higher than the resonant frequency. Also, we compare the output impedance with different decoupling capacitor value. The red curve is the output impedance without decoupling capacitors. With larger decoupling capacitors, the output impedance is higher because the first stage is more like a typical hard charging switch capacitor converter. The advantage of soft charging is lost. The output impedance of PWM soft charging is also simulated. The duty ratio is 0.5 to keep the same voltage conversion ratio. Its output impedance is close to the fast switching limit regardless of the value of LC in a wide frequency range. PWM soft charging also has lower output impedance than the resonant soft charging in this case, because the RMS current of a square wave with 50% duty ratio is lower than the RMS current of sinusoidal current. Here are the comparison and the summary. The resonant soft charging only needs smaller inductor. It also can be soft switching with low energy stored in parasitic inductance, but it's usually unregulated. The potential applications are the intermediate bus converter and the stepped up interface for renewable energy. The PWM soft charging has lower RMS current with proper control, but requires larger inductors. The DIDT of PWM current is high. It's more sensitive to the parasitic loop inductance. It's usually regulated and suitable for voltage regulation applications. The merged two-stage hybrid switched capacitor converter can be configured as series input parallel output or parallel input series output to cover higher voltage and current range. The output impedance of the extended topology can be converted by connecting the output impedance of each module in parallel or in series. Here are two examples of merged two-stage hybrid switch capacitor converter our group have presented in this year's APEC. This is a resonant soft charged boost converter, and this is a PW soft charged point of load converter, both with high efficiency and high power density. The merged two stage soft charging technique is a general design approach that is widely applicable. A few more merged two stage soft charging topologies are listed here. The PW current source can be implemented by buck, two-level buck, buck boost, and DAB converter. The resonant current source can be implemented by series resonant LLC and the resonant charge pump converter. We compare two types of the soft charging mechanisms. Both of them can reduce the converter's output impedance, improve the system efficiency, and reduce the passive component size. Resonant soft charging can also create soft switching opportunities. PWM soft charging offers voltage regulation capability. Thanks for watching my presentation. Please feel free to ask me questions.